VEON formerly Vimpelcom Limited is a multinational telecommunication services company headquartered in Amsterdam, Netherlands. It predominantly operates services in the regions of Asia, Africa and Europe. It is the sixth largest mobile network operator in the world by number of subscribers with 214 million customers. Most of the company's revenue comes from Russia 39% and Italy 31%. VEON's brands include Beeline, Kyivstar, Jezi, Jazz Pakistan, Banglalink and others. Topic: History Russian PJSC Vimpelcom was founded in 1992 in Moscow when Vimpelcom's co-founders, Dmitry Zimin and American Orgy K. Fabula II came together to pioneer the Russian mobile industry. Orgy Fabula, who was then a young entrepreneur from the United States, and Zimin, who was a Russian scientist in his 50s, together launched the Beeline brand in 1993. The company was one of the first mobile carriers in Russia. Its name derives from Vimpel, the Russian word for penin. Topic: <laughs> New York Stock Exchange. In 1996, PJSC Vimpelcom, then the leader of Moscow cellular market and automatically the largest mobile operator in Russia, became the first Russian company to have its shares listed on the New York Stock Exchange with VIP as the ticker symbol. The company's main shareholders are Telenor, a Norwegian telecom conglomerate, and Alpha Group, a vehicle of Russian tycoon Mikhail Fridman. They have been locked in a years-long struggle for control of this enterprise as well as other telecommunication assets in Eastern Europe. In 2008, PJSC Vimpelcom obtained a 49.9% stake in Euroset, the largest mobile retailer in Russia and the CIS, which formerly belonged to its founder Yevgeny Chichvarkin. Topic: United Holding Company and Nasdaq. Vimpelcom Limited Holding Company was founded in 2009. In 2009, Telenor and Alpha agreed to merge their assets in Vimpelcom and Kyiv Star, Ukraine's number one wireless operator, with the aim of creating Vimpelcom Limited, incorporated in Bermuda. In October 2010, the United Company acquired from Nagib Sawiris two assets. Arascom Telecom Holding SAE, the largest mobile phone company in North Africa. Wind Italy, the third largest mobile phone company in Italy. As of 31 December 2011, the company had 205 million customers across 20 countries. After several divestments and a business transformation, by summer 2017, VEON had a combined subscriber base of more than 200 million across 12 markets. The company announced that it would switch the listing of its ad shares from the NYSE to the NASDAQ with trading beginning on 10 September 2013. In February 2015, the government of Algeria acquired a 51% stake in J for $2.6 billion. Topic twenty fifteen present. In September 2014, Vimpelcom agreed to sell its majority stake in Canadian mobile operator Wind Mobile for $272 million to its minority owner Globalive. In the summer of 2015, the United States Justice Department claimed that Vimpelcom used a network of shell companies and phony consulting contracts to funnel bribes to a close relative of the president of Uzbekistan. In 
exchange for access to that country's telecommunications market. The board of one part owner, Norwegian telecom operator Telenor, has severed consulting ties with former Vimpelcom chief executive John Frederick Baxas due to the continuing police investigation. In November 2015, the company CEO, Joe Lunda, was arrested on corruption charges in Oslo, Norway. The case alleges that in exchange for an operating license, Vimpelcom has funneled $57.5 million to Takalant, a company linked to Gulnera Karimova, the daughter of Uzbek President Islam Karimov. The Securities and Exchange Commission announced 18 February 2016 a global settlement along with the U.S. Department of Justice and Dutch regulators that requires telecommunications provider Vimpelcom Limited to pay more than $795 million to resolve its violations of the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act FCPA to win business in Uzbekistan on the 27th of February 2017 Vimpelcom renamed itself VEON named after the messaging platform that it had developed the company explained that the rebranding was part of a shift towards marketing themselves as a technology company and not solely a telecommunications firm. On the 3rd of April, VEON announced the listing and trading of shares of VEON on Euronext Amsterdam, commencing the 4th of April 2017. On the 19th of July 2017, VEON announced launching personal internet platform named VEON in major markets, Italy, Russia, Ukraine, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Georgia. The platform provides contextualized, personalized Internet experiences and opportunities, enabling customers to call, chat, read, watch, listen and share media, manage account, top up, opt in, out services. On 27 March 2018, VEON Chief Executive Jean Yves Charlier resigned and that Charlier's duties would be temporarily assumed by VEON's chairwoman, Ursula Burns. Topic Owners V and shareholder structure forty seven point nine per cent of voting rights, fifty six point two per cent economic rights owned by Altimo Alpha Group. 43.0% of voting rights, 33.0% economic rights owned by Telenor. 9.1% 10. 8% minority shareholders. Topic: Subsidiaries and shareholdings. PJSC Vimpelcom 100% PJSC New Telephone Company Golden Telecom and Golden Telecom Ukraine Delaware United States acquired in 2007 Corbina Telecom acquired in 2006 Cityline ISP acquired in 2001 Global Telesystems GTS, formerly San Francisco Moscow Teleport SFMT, founded in 1983 by VNIIPAS and an American team which included George Soros EDN Sovintel Soviet American joint venture company founded in 1990, acquired in 2001 Sovem Soviet American Teleport founded in 1990 by SFMT Glasnet Russia Online acquired in 1999 Kyivstar 100% Global Telecom Holding SAE 51 7% Euroset 50% VON Wholesale Services 100% Topic See also 
Mobile phone industry in Russia Telecommunications in Ukraine Dmitry Zimin Mikhail Fridman Nagib Sawiris <laughs>